Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Peluso and today we are going to make olio piccante, which in Italian means hot oil. And the long name is actually olio di peperoncino piccante, which is peperoncino, red peppers. So crushed red chilies. This is a packet of 25 grams. You can use whole chilies, habanero chilies, any kind of chili that you can get your hands on, but as long as it's really, really dry. If you're gonna make fresh chilies, then it's a different method. And I'll cover that in a different video. We're gonna use dry chilies for this one. All you need are chilies, extra virgin olive oil, and you need a very sterile jar or bottle. This has been pre-sterilized. Uh, if you need advice on how to sterilize, send me some messages in the comments and I'll give you some information or maybe make a video and a funnel. Now, if you want chili oil now, this is not the way to do it because this method takes probably about a month to really get proper oil. See, look, I'm making a mess. I should probably be using my funnel. In Italy, when I was there, I don't think I ever ate anything other than a margarita pizza, but I would splash olio picante all over the top and it just made it sing. So you're probably gonna end up with a ratio of about one to five. Simply top it up, all the way to the top. Oh, oh, that looks so luscious. I could drink olive oil and that's it. How brilliant is that? So what we're gonna do, put that in a nice, dark, cool place. So somewhere in the back of a nice, cool cupboard. And once or twice a week, you're gonna give it a shake just to distribute all of that chili into the oil and make sure that it's behaving as it should. And then in about a month's time, maybe four or five weeks, your oil is ready. You might read a little bit about botulism in the, on the internet uh, and that can be a danger with anything that you preserve or can at home. This method is fine. People in Italy have been doing this for centuries. So you're not gonna be you know, if you see anything cloudy or growing in your oil, then clearly that's a sign not to eat it. But this method, if, you're, uh, if your chilies are really, really dry and your oil is, is um, put into a nice clean bottle, you'll be fine. That's it. Olio picante, olio di peperoncino picante, uh, spicy oil. And um, if you like this, please make it, take a photo, share the recipe. You can't have a pantry without this. That's it for me today and um, I'll see you next week. Bye.